Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's Jasper here, and welcome back to Magic Mondays. We're back, guys. It's been a little while. Now, in today's episode, we're going to we're, we're gonna spend a little time talking about angles and locations. Let's jump right in. Just going to quickly explain what angles means. And no, this is not geometry class, okay? Don't worry. In the magic world, angles means where your audience is located. So for example, if I'm here facing you, you're directly in front of me. That's a great angle for most tricks. But let's say you're over, I'm here and I'm facing that way, and you're over there still. That's not a great angle. You know what? Let's jump over to the whiteboard and we'll draw this out so it's easier. Let's go. Okay, so let's say you're right here, you're the black dot, and you're doing David Blaine's teleportation. Great trick, by the way. We, we taught it a few day, a few, a few weeks ago. Go check it out. Anyway, uh, and one thing you want to make sure you, you don't do is have your audience anywhere within this black outline. This is what I call the dead zone. If you're in the dead zone, they're gonna. If they're in the dead zone, they're gonna see how the trick is done, which is not good. Now, let's say for example you're doing a trick such as the four aces uh, trick I, I showed you a few weeks ago as well. That one. The audience, can be, audience, member can, audience members can be in front of you and behind you. It doesn't really matter where they are. A good rule of thumb is if your trick involves a lot of sleight of hand, false shuffles, or, or sneaky things in general, make sure your audience is in front of you, okay? And if your trick is self-working or very simple and no sleight of hand, they, they, the audience can be wherever they want. So. We've already talked about angles, which is easy, very basic whiteboard stuff. Now let's talk very briefly about location. The, the, the location of where, you, of where you do your magic is very important. If you're if you're doing, if you're a street, a street magician, magician, but you're in a five-star theater, that's not, that's not going to portray your act the way you want the, the, the way you want it to. So remember that. Um, what, another important thing is try if you can if, if you can control the environment where you are like if you're obviously if you're a street magician you can't control the, the noise but if you can make sure the room or the area is a little bit quieter than usual just so people can hear you that's the only reason why it's not to make it easier for you to focus but it's just so people in the crowd can hear you better or if you can't control it talk louder those are the simple that's one of the simple ways of getting around a loud room um, also make sure you know about where you're performing so you know where the best where the best spots are, where the best locations to do your performance are, is, excuse me, and don't, if you can, perform in front of a wall, or sort of like a more muted, quiet background, that way people are more focused on you and the performance than things going on behind you. Cool? Cool. Alright guys, that's, that's basically for this video, I hope you enjoyed, sorry it was so short, I'm just trying to get a few things handled and fixed, uh, and set up for later videos, so, see you guys next week.